Getting a job in Microsoft is a dream come true. It's normal to think about the hierarchy in your new workplace. This video will help you understand the complex hierarchy of Microsoft in a simple way. Let's begin with a short introduction to the company. Microsoft is an American multinational company that sells software licenses, computer electronics, and other electrical equipment around the world. It can be considered as a major player in the operating system software market. It is one of the big IT companies along with major players like Google, Apple, Facebook, and Amazon, and has 182,268 employees as per the stats of quarter 2 2021. These features are good enough to convince anyone to join the company, right? So without further ado, let's move on to the technical hierarchy of Microsoft. Please note that in this vlog, only the positions or designations related to the technical fields of Microsoft are discussed. As a lead technology company, Microsoft has a complex hierarchy structure. It follows the level system. Each position is given the level based on their power and responsibilities. A higher level means a higher salary and benefits and of course higher power and responsibility. The organizational structure can easily be categorized into three categories namely entry level, middle level and senior or high level. Let's begin with the entry level. It is the level you will be more likely to get hired for when you are a fresher. Here you can gain some experience and learn about the workings of the company. The entry level resource will be responsible to do the works allotted by the middle or senior levels. The career positions that can be covered under the entry level are software intern, software trainee, software analyst, module lead, senior software analyst, C++ trainee, software technician, QA engineer, software quality engineer, database administrator, software associate, software assistant, configuration manager, lead C++ software engineer, etc. So the next level in the chain of commands is the middle level. After gaining enough experience in the base level, the resource will be promoted to the middle level. The people in the middle level positions will be specialized in a particular department or technique. The middle level mostly focuses on the senior personals that are more responsible, experienced and updated. If you have the required skills and experience in other companies, then you can also be directly hired into a middle level position. The positions or designations covered under the middle level are Software QA Engineer, SDLC Implementation Manager, Software Project Manager, Software Quality Assurance Tester, Software Application Engineer, System Administrator, Senior Product Manager, Senior Process Analyst, Senior C, C++ Software Engineer, etc. The next step in the ladder is the Senior Level or high level. This level covers the highest technical positions one can be promoted in Microsoft. Though they are technical experts, they mostly work closely with the managerial and business authorities and act as a bridge between the business and technical team in the organization. There is less chance for you to get directly hired into these positions unless you are an engineering graduate with more than five years of experience in other big MNCs. Or you should have a special skill or idea that will turn the table. In the Microsoft workforce, the entry and middle levels cover more than 80%. These high ups are very few because they play a very important role in the organization. The positions that come under this elite level are Technical Recruitment Manager, Senior Software Testing Manager, 
senior software developer, senior software programmer, senior project or group of projects manager, lead software project engineer, senior software QA engineer, software configuration management administrator, project head, chief technical officer, technical directors, etc. The salary varies between the persons in the same category because of the ranking or level system followed in the Microsoft. For example, the principal program manager or software development engineer can earn more than senior or a normal PM or SDE. Though they all are covered under the same category, their salaries differ because principal PM is ranked as level 65-67, whereas the normal PM level is between 61 and 62. We will not go into the further details of the complex number levels here. Let's keep it simple. So that's all about the technical hierarchy in Microsoft that is broadly classified into three levels, entry, middle and senior or high level. If you are preparing for your next job interview or joining Microsoft in a short while, then all the best wishes. And please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.